Black Myth Wukong reviews are out. Black Myth Wukong reviews are out. This game was first announced four years ago. Um, it like randomly appeared on YouTube as a trailer. It was in Chinese, Chinese developer obviously, but there was never word on whether or not it was gonna come to the West. Then last year we got the announcement that it was coming to the West. It would be ported over here. Um, and we finally, it comes out in three days on the 20th, I think. Yeah, it comes out next Tuesday. Today's the 16th. And uh, the reviews are out, which is a good sign. Anytime reviews come out early, it usually means a sign of confidence. And the average overall Metacritic is an 83 overall. We got some 10s, some 8s, some 3 out of 5s. Little mixed, but um, it's exactly what I thought it would be. It looked like an 8 from the eye test. It looked like an 8 from the eye test. Um, I kind of hate that there's no physical copies. I do too. Because like I, I hope it's not a case. They said the reason there's no physical copies is due to like... I don't know, resource issues, because it is a new studio. Maybe they don't have the funding to get that the disc printed or something. I don't know. Um, I hope that's actually the case and they're not lying. And this is not a case of them trying to double dip where we buy the game digitally and then they put out a hard copy and now the collectors want to buy it again just so they have a copy. I hope that's not like that doesn't become a trend. Um, kind of like the Stellar Blade scores. Yeah, some people were thinking this was going to be game of the year. I don't know if this is going to be game of the year based off the reviews that I'm seeing, but it's looking like it might be in, it might get a nomination or it could be because this year is not as strong. I don't know. I don't know. Please tell me you're going to pull that. Oh yeah, I am. We're getting to it. So yeah, be aware. It's getting about an 80 overall average. It's pretty good. People are liking it. People are liking it. Um, the positives I've seen from the reviews that I read to kind of condense everything. Combat's fun. Uh, the boss fights are really unique. Um, lots of secrets. I think they said it'll take if you just run through the story, one review said 20 hours. If you do everything, like 40. Um, the main complaints that I've seen about it is the lack of... Um, it's very linear. Not a lot of like mobs to fight and stuff like that. It's kind of just... It is a boss rush, basically. It's pretty much a boss rush. And then performance issues. Oh, and here's another thing. Not only performance issues. No, this is a red flag. I'm trying to be fair. No, these reviews are only for the PC version. And the, they are saying that this the PC version does have performance issues. It's a little stuttery, a little laggy. Um, granted, the drivers haven't came out, came out yet, I don't think. But there are no codes in the wild for the PS5 version. There are no uh, no map to. No map. Yeah, there's no mini map for backtracking purposes. So it's, you could probably get lost. That's probably going to piss me off. Um, but that is a bit of a red flag. There are no... The PC version is struggling, and then there are no console codes in the wild. So understand this review only applies to the PC version. Take it with a grain of salt, because now people are suspecting there might be some issues with the console version. I'm hoping that's not the case, because I'm getting it on console, because my PC can't run this shit. It also got delayed on um, Xbox. It did? Hold on, let's see. Xbox delay. Black Myth. Wukong. Don't laugh at my PC. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see news. Does anybody got a link to that? Uh, delayed Xbox launch. Let's see. It did. I missed this one. Good look. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, let's see right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I thought this was only for the Series S. It was for the X as well. I thought it was just for the S. Max tried to play this on stream and his PC was fucking up bad. Max got money too. Not to be pocket watching, but I know that nigga got money. Yeah, I'm not even risking it. Um, so glad I'm not a 2K fanboy anymore. I play real games now. 2K is a real game. My issue has always been that people don't want to try other shit. Um, let me see. Xbox. And Black Myth. I'm not even gonna bother doing the benchmark text. I know my shit gonna blow up. I know it. I don't wanna hear it. It's not funny, chat. It's because Xbox don't let companies launch games on the Series X at all. The S at the same time. Wait, what? Um, is it coming to PS4? You know it's not. Uh, by the way, I think I've prime sub to you, but it missed it. Shout out to Dirty Sam with the sub. I appreciate it. Interesting. Um, but let's let's shift our let's shift our because <laughs> unfortunately, let's shift our focus to this. The unfortunate thing is the reviews came out and they are mostly positive, but there's one review that is catching a lot of, a lot more attention in comparison to the others. And it's from Screen Rant, 
which is a pretty reputable site. I've used them. I've sourced them before. I think they focus more on movies, right? I don't know if this is real or not. We're going to look up the article, but just for shits and giggles, I'm going to I'm going to entertain this. Um, the Black Myth Wukong review from Screen Rant. In the pros and cons, they say the combat's fluid and fun, cinematography and breathtaking, great diversity in items and mechanics. But on the con, it says the game performance is unpolished, like I stated earlier. It lacks inclusivity and diversity. <laughs> is this real? Who has got the link? Did he put the link right there? I think that's the link right there. Is this real? Black Wolf Kong is action. Uh, is this the actual review? It is. It's real. This is the official review right here. Lacks inclusivity and diversity. Now, here on this stream, <laughs> here on this stream, like I said, I tend to be center. Sometimes I go, sometimes I go left, sometimes I go right. I try to be fair about everything and look at because sometimes I feel like. You know, the go woke, go broke bro, bros, they overreact. They blow things out of proportion and they make shit up because they want it to fit their agenda. And then on the flip side, I feel like a lot of times ultra liberal people, they be on some other shit. Matter of fact, there's something going on on TikTok right now. There's a movement. I'm not going to get into it too much. There's a movement that tried to blame black people. Uh, and black people got reminded well, me personally, I've never identified as a person of color. And that situation is an example why. You said, I saw that old brother. Let's just say there's a movement that's falling apart because once again, they tried to blame black people. That, like I said, I don't trust ultra liberal people either. Their racism comes out at a different time. I'm telling you, this is bad in my opinion. You said, now, if I speak, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I've never identified as a person. I am black. Because when shit hits the fan, you find out people really out for their own agendas. That's why I said we got to get back to gatekeeping the culture. Anyways, I ain't going to get too much into that. That being said, I try to be fair about things. And I'm, I'm going to give, unfortunately, I feel like this review gives ammo to the go woke, go broke bros. What the fuck are you talking about? It lacks inclusivity and diversity. It is a game about a monkey. This game is about Goku. Like, what? <laughs> I gotta give this, I gotta be fair, I gotta give this to them. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a game about a fucking Chinese myth. That's like, that's like playing, um, uh, well shit, never mind. I'm trying to think of a different example. They're wilding down there, caveat, she's making fun of how they turn on black people like, what you meant? Jesus, screen rant. What is missing in the game for them? like a part of my brain is trying to wrap my brain around like maybe what they were trying to say is the game lacks enemy variety maybe that's what they were trying to say but then when you use words inclusivity and diversity it's like what do you mean like i, I don't like first of all i'm not gonna lie this is kind of racist what do you mean by it lacks diversity you didn't want him to be you didn't want him to be the you didn't want him to be wukong you wanted him to be a black person like what did you what's, what's that what you mean by that this is why I said, like, ultra liberal people are sometimes unintentionally racist and fucking funny to me. What do you mean by that? You want that monkey to be a nigga? Like, <laughs> this is, yeah, you know, you know, it's crazy too. I know how these websites work. These professional websites that are backed by multi millionaire uh, conglomerates and shit. Oh, shit. Women representation scroll towards the bottom. Da -da 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 -da. Oh wait. Is this it right here? Oh, let's see. While elements of great design by the developer, game science, engaging narrative, varied boss fights, especially Black Man Kong, also presents an issue that can severely impact gameplay experience and reliability on the game, taking into account controversies with current modern gaming audiences and expectations, souls like games. Wow. So wait, are they trying to use the supposed drama? about because like there were some reports that came out that they were being unfair to women in the workplace or something but there was no strong evidence on that that was just like some rumors is that what they're referencing because if that's the case that's crazy that's nothing to, even if that's true that has nothing to do with the game like this is just bad all around this is bad all around like you can't do stuff like this chat you can't do stuff like this ah <sighs> boy oh boy oh boy 
almost want you to go to the actual article. What what part of it? Here. I'm not. I don't want to read her whole damn review because I don't want this game being spoiled for me. Um, so do the change another patch. The author said there wasn't enough women in the first two chapters. Uh, let me see. Let me search. Okay. The lack of diversity and inclusivity resonates with the misogynistic comments reported to be had had by developers, which express disdain for women playing their games. Although Black Man Fu Kong does have truly enjoyable moments, the underlying feeling that women aren't welcome in this world felt present throughout my gameplay experience. What? It's worth noting that the game is based on the novel Journey to the West, which does consist of a few important female characters, not to include any women or to include a few in an adaptation meant for modern audiences is quite dis discerning. <sighs> While this doesn't take away from the exhilaration and the fun boss fights themselves, women fans of Souls-like games may have different perspective. You said the game is, this is one of those things that's like, um, one of my, one of my arguments for like ultra left-leaning people has always been, I never played NBA Ballers Vendetta. I heard it's good, but I never got to play it. I was poor as a kid at Street. Um, one of my one of my things that like I always talk about, like when it comes to the left, is um, they got to learn the concept of pick your battles. I get where she's coming from because I don't know. I've never read the actual, you know, traditional novel of Wukong, but I'm gonna give her the I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say there's women in it, even if there is, if there's a few women in the story, is that really worth picking a fight over? I could understand her point if she was playing the game and all throughout the game, Wukong is like, let's say you beat a boss, right? You beat a boss and Wukong turns around to the camera and says, fuck them bitches. Like, then I can understand. <laughs> like, there's just like some blatant, just misogynistic stuff. In <laughs> then I can understand. But like, this is like a bit of a reach. You got to learn to pick your battles. This is, you're just giving people ammo. I don't even want to search on YouTube. I know, I know there's just a bunch of generic thumbnails with Wukong's face in it and flames all over the place and shit like that. This is this is a stupid review. And what sucks is I know how these websites work. In order for this article to be published, it has to go through the main editor. So somebody wrote this up, and then somebody else on the staff read it and they greenlit the shit. Can I link you tweet? LOL, I got evidence. Oh, link it. Yeah. Wait, so there are women in the game, so that's not even true. So wait, maybe they didn't beat the game. Oh no, say it ain't so. <sighs> this is crazy. Somebody greenlit, somebody let this lead the studio. This is crazy. Fraud alert. Hey, 60% of new games, 60% of gamers don't play new games. Even these journalists, they're not playing the games. Oh my God play the fraud alert sound hold up what's the what's the name of the author in this joint let's see where my shit at this was written by wow the screen rant team didn't too too scared to put the author's name on it screen rant team mm -mm -mm. you are officially on fraud watch this is crazy <laughs> uh let's see did, 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 did. oh so you got the actual footage let me see gaming journalist am i right so there is women in the game wow and it was in the previews it was in the previews this is crazy so now now we gotta now we gotta now see put the name we gotta ask did you beat the game how far did you get in this game before you reviewed it? And I talk about this on stream a lot of times. People don't understand the pressure of having a game early and being able to review it. You don't know how soon they got the codes. They might have got the codes like three days ago. And there are some people who can beat a game in a day or two if they sit there and just shit their chair all day. But then you got to write up the review. Some people can do it, but that the average person cannot do it. So best case scenario is when you get a review code like two weeks early, three weeks early, that, that's a good sign of confidence. It allows you to play the game comfortably and get your review out there. Did they feel rushed and they didn't beat the game, but they still wanted to put the review out? Cause you're fucking lying. I followed the tweet, there's even more women. Shit is fucking crazy. Screen rant, you're fired. You're fucking fired, man. Uh, boy, 
oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to move on to something else. I'm, d- I'm done talking about that. I get the gist of it. Um, A new Dragon Age trailer came out. I have not watched it, but I found this one because Ethos put it in the group chat and he said, they cooking. I said, let me save this for the stream. Let me save it. Let me see if they really cooking. Because I know when they first announced the gameplay, people were hating. This game is coming out, um, I believe, in the fall, October, November, something like that. This is another potential game of the year because this is Bioware. Um, based off the merit of Bioware, I don't know. We got to see more gameplay. Uh, what up, Gitsun? We see you. I'm going to judge for myself. Let's see. You have no idea what you have done. Cal Kestis? The blighted elven gods walk free. All because you disrupted my ritual. Well, I had a skittle little ass, Nick. You battle against gods. They will not rest until you are on your knees. Fearful. Cowering. Help me. I saw someone called Dragon Age woke and I blocked them. That's what we got to start doing. We got to start blocking anybody who calls everything woke. That way, if we all start blocking them, their impressions and their views will go down, which will cause them to critically think. But as long as they're still getting impressions, they're going to throw the word around. In the face of such power. They're blocking and shaming. Rook. If we can't see it, they can't get no views. I've seen your work. You're clever. Adaptable. And you don't know when to quit. Thank you, TVH, for the ice bag trick. My PS4 stopped sounding like a... Pl- <laughs> Alright, bro, just say what up. <laughs> you didn't put no ice on your PS4. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look. Come on, show some gameplay. Hey, music hitting though. I'll be damned. The Griffin. War. The Griffin! I've never seen this before. There's something kind of exciting about it. Is this co-op? Not to my knowledge, no. Shout out to like easy with the sub. Howard Stark? Let the fade draw close. Draw the dragon out into the open. Then attack. You and me, Rook. Maybe that's what scares me. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. This October. Our gods are back. Man, I thought we were going to get some new gameplay. How do we stand against that? I believe in all of us. High level combat comes next week. Oh, bet. Let's get it done. The story does look interesting, though. I like the music. Do I still edit on Final Cut? I do. Old ass software. first we on it that's a day one i do um simply because it's bioware i do edit on um another software sometimes sometimes when i'm on pc i edit on um what's that shit called uh clip champ it's free on pc if for like simple stuff you can edit on there just like simple edits but yeah i still use final cut for bigger stuff uh if it ain't broke looks good i just wish they would show some gameplay i'm excited to see more the first gameplay reveal that they had it was fire i wanted to see more though uh DEI. I, I'm thinking about saying changing my name to DEI Hokage. <laughs> they low key should have waited. It's right between Call of Duty 6 and Space Marines and Assassin's Creed in November. I think Dragon Age is a strong enough IP that it could stand against Call of Duty. First of all, the people who are playing Call of Duty, I'm not saying they don't intertwine because obviously I play Call of Duty and Dragon Age and you probably do too. But most people who play Call of Duty are not going to play Dragon Age. So like that's not going to that's not going to be in its way. Um, I don't think Space Marines is a much of a threat either to it. Like uh, Dragon Age is a big IP. It's a big IP. Like I think uh, I think it would be OK as long as the game is good. If it gets good reviews, it'll be OK. I think it's by Bi- Bioware has a um, 
has a cult like following. You got to keep in mind this is the same company that made Kotor, Jade Empire, um, classics such as Kotor, Jade Empire, Mass Effect, and Anthem. <laughs> and Anthem. <laughs> but but Bioware, they're still in the somewhat in the good graces. They fucked up with Andromeda and and Anthem. I will say, I think this game, I think this game is a make or break for them. Dragon Age: The Veil Guard is a make or break for them. They got to get it because they fucked up with Andromeda and Anthem, but they still have more hits than misses. I think. Uh, you petty for saying Anthem. We'll see though. We'll see. We need more gameplay. We need more gameplay. We need more gameplay. Um, we got a new Fatal Fury trailer. But about the wrestler dude Tizok, is that how you say his name? This is who I'm playing. This is who I'm playing. Any grappler, you know I'm playing them. I play grab ass when I play fighting games. I don't care who get mad. I'm not. I hate seeing people play Anthem in, on TikTok. Like, where were you when you needed? I see it all the time, too. Anthem is having, like, a weird resurgence. You got to keep in mind. Um, you have to keep in mind that uh, when something is cool to hate on, everybody does it. Now that nobody cares about it, there's less stigma behind it. You know, people are people are sheep. When's the next Am I Valid? Oh, you know what's funny? I have some right there. I forgot. You just reminded me. I actually have some records. After this, I'll, I'll open them. After this batch of articles. I'm glad you said something. I totally forgot I had them. Yeah, you getting you getting grabbed. Anybody can get touched. Oh, he can throw hands a little bit too. Niggas was trying to push the Avengers wasn't that bad agenda not too long ago. Avengers wasn't that bad. Wait, what? Are you saying the are you saying people were trying to push the agenda that the Avengers was bad? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, the Avengers game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit was ass. Cut it out. <laughs> yeah, that shit was ass. If you ever want to upgrade your vinyl setup, look up Sonos equipment. What kind of equipment is that? I would upgrade my speakers and probably the um. What's the thing you need for like when you don't have a uh, an amp? I'd probably upgrade the amp and the speakers. That that would be the next thing I'd upgrade. Get better amp and speakers. Sonos is pricey. Is Sonos an amp? Yeah, the background music's fire. I, I have a very basic set of speakers, and I'm using the built-in amp in my uh my my record player. It sounds good for now, but I do plan on getting it eventually. The Avengers game is three dollars. I thought it was free. Uh, can you link the trailer? Yeah, I got you. Da -da -da. There you go. Ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. Let me see. Sonos sound system, wireless speakers. Da -da -da. I'm not familiar with this brand. Headphones. Man, get this shit out of my face. Uh, are their headphones good? I'm not gonna lie. I like Sony headphones. Uh, Probably for the amp and speakers and maybe in like the needle. You got any Lord Finesse albums? No, nah, I don't even know what that is. Uh, what do you think of the cease and desist shit? Uh, I haven't read up on it. I did save it. I think I seen this at Costco. I don't want a sound bar though. Like, is it is a sound bar as good as like regular like shelf speakers? Are they, do they only sell sound bars? Like, yeah, I want like some speaker type shit. I want some shit that bangs. Sonos is valid. I mean, this shit look expensive. But, 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 don't do that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, so, yeah, I want to make sure I'm getting the actual speaker set. But, 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 yeah, that's the next upgrade a preamp with speakers, but like that's probably a while away at least a year or two. Um, gotta, gotta, gotta be responsible, guys. Gotta be responsible, especially because my life is changing. It might get more expensive. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see, grappling hooks. Flips most swiftly across rooftops. Somebody linked this earlier. Let's see what this is. New Assassin's Creed gameplay. Been trying to get into tea. It's a good alternative to coffee for energy. Uh, yeah, it's also good for your skin. The antioxidants. Green tea. Green tea is the one that has the caffeine in it. You get the matcha. It's definitely better for you than coffee. Put a little honey in it, you lit. I'm not, I'm not about to be a dad. Everybody chill out. I don't have sex before marriage. 
Go to Costco. You can get a big ass box of that shit for the low low. They already hating on Twitter. Yeah, I seen that. You just reminded me. Hold up. Um, let's see. Assassin's Creed Shadows Animations. I saw a tweet. I should have saved it. Just look this right here. This shit right here, bro. Um, do you niggas play games anymore? This shit is getting. I'm not gonna lie. The gaming community is becoming very fucking annoying, dude. Here we go. Remember, we had Puddlegate with Spider Man. We got we got Jumping Gate with Assassin's Creed. Rhino the Bouncer tweeted, "Assassin's Creed Shadow animations appear to have been carried over from Mirage. How do you feel about the reused assets?" Now, I'm not gonna go as far as to say that like he's against it, uh, but like you know what you're doing. You know what you're fucking doing. You're sparking a bullshit ass. Con- this is what I'm talking about with like impression farming. How many jumping animations can you make? This is what we bitching about? Jesus Christ. Just rate, yeah, it's rage bait. I'm telling you, like, it's a gift and a curse that you can make money off of Twitter now because motherfuckers just saying anything for attention. Um, yeah, I just started getting into tea. I don't know what I'm doing. I just put the bag in the cup and put hot water for hope for the best. I mean, that's all it is. Uh, get an electric kettle. Get an electric kettle. You can get one for like 20, 30 bucks, Target, uh, Amazon. Uh, they they might have my best buy. Uh, Costco, they have a really good brand at Costco. Get an electric kettle. It's like the best thirty bucks that you can spend. You put the water in there. It takes like two minutes to boil the water. It fast boil the water. You pour it in the cup and then you put your tea in there. There you go. You can also make ramen with it because uh, it, it boils the water like any type of soupy stuff. Uh, quick meals. Da-da-da. Get a get a. It's nineteen on Amazon. Yeah, get if you want to get into tea, get an electric kettle. It's the best twenty thirty bucks you'll spend. How many times can we do the jumping and climbing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did it with Horizon 2. You remember? Um, Because they reused the animation where she's swinging on the hook from the first game to the second game. Why would she swing any differently if it's the same fucking person? Like, what are we talking about, bro? Also good for mopping. You know what's funny? I do use it for mopping, too. She's not lying. Fast boil the water in the electric kettle, then pour it into your bucket with, like, some some pine saw or some um, fabiosa. If you're Dominican, fabiosa, whatever that shit is, the purple <laughs> Puerto Ricans. <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways, uh, we got some disturbing news. All alleged. All alleged. All alleged. <laughs> um, so I still haven't watched this show. I can't. Enun- I- I'm not even gonna bother. I can't enunciate shit. I can't talk. Um, X Men. The new X Men '97 came out. It's been praised. People love it. But something happened around the launch of X Men '97, and they let the main writer of the show go. But it was kept under wraps. Some articles are coming out today. All alleged, all alleged, all alleged, all alleged. But I'm just going to read this. Oh, wait. I think this is the first one before we get to the other one. Um, this is the right. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, I'm going to say DeMaio. Allegedly sent nude photos of himself to several young male staffers who were working on X-Men 97 that included sexually suggestive hero poses that could be used for inspiration. Uh, the writer also allegedly physically and emotionally abused multiple staffers and groped an assistant multiple times, all allegedly. When the show came out, everybody was asking, what the fuck did he do? Because the show was fire. The show is so fire, apparently. I seen a lot of people ask, what did he do? Was it that bad? Because if not, we might need to bring him back. And it's looking like it might be that bad because it's all alleged. And then his lawyer comes out and responds to it with a statement by saying, as we, ex- as we explain through detailed examples, which we roll out in a detailed one by one, Disney's model is very clear in a repetitive illegal pattern. Once again, it's challenged or exposed. The gaslighting and redirection of the blame towards anyone willing to tell the truth starts through an, an international, well-oiled publicity machine. So basically, he's saying the powers that be are trying to frame him into some type of evil individual, and his client did not do anything. And that's why I said this is all alleged. Until this goes to court or we get some type of evidence, we don't really know. And also, we can't rule that out. We can't rule that out. Disney is a powerful entity. It could have been It could have been a case of, you know, when you black in corporate America, if you don't bow down, if you don't do everything they say, you don't play by the rules, they will quickly label you the angry black person. Let's not forget that. Could have been one of those situations. And because people love the show so much, people wanted explanations of why he was kicked off the show. So they could, they could have made up some bullshit. We don't know. We don't know. So that's it. Take it with a grain of salt. Allegations until more news comes out. I will say, though, I will say, if this shit turns out to be true, my nigga, you're weird. 
that that we were talking about it in the group chat if this dude turns out to be true imagine you are somebody that just goes to work and you want to draw cartoons and this nigga is just randomly sending you dick pics in the slack like that shit is crazy that shit is crazy this don't got nothing to do with anybody's sexuality or nothing i would have said the same thing if this was a woman i'm working in corporate america i'm working at nickelodeon i'm trying to draw episodes for spongebob and some random chick is sending me pictures of pussy First of all, I got a girl. I'm good, nigga. What the fuck? I got a girl. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Black men don't cheat. I, I would have, like, just spread an eagle. What the fuck is wrong with you? This shit is weird. Like, <laughs> this shit is weird, bro. It's weird. Yeah, my virgin eyes. I don't want to see this shit. Imagine getting a dick slack notification. <laughs> but, like, y'all know me, though. I'm just joking right now. I like to be fair. I like to be fair. I like to be fair. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just cast them aside right away because I know how this corporate America shit goes. <clears throat> we gonna. I'm. I'm gonna say this. We gonna keep our eye on this story. We gonna keep our eye on this story. <laughs> We're gonna keep our eye on the story. Man's was <laughs> with the spider. That is a crazy claim. They said this nigga was doing naked nigga Spider Man. Bro. Yo, this shit. This, this, I'm not gonna lie. The only reason I wanted to cover this shit because the shit is kind of funny. Like this nigga, this nigga. Yo, imagine you're at work, right? And you get a Slack. You get a message in the Slack, and this nigga sends you a naked picture of him posing like Spider Man. Dick all. Like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? What the fuck are you doing? Oh my God. You see Spider-Man? I'm okay. I'm okay. You need a hug? Uh, yo, real rap? Yo, the writer, it's potentially, allegedly the writer of X-Men 97 was the real Penis Parker. Think about it. This nigga was Penis Parker. Whoa. Penis Parker don't use webs to swing. He swing with his dick from light pole to light pole. The nigga's an Omega level threat. That's fucking funny, bro. Omega level threat. That's fucking funny. He said, watch out. The Wolverine poses. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you licking me, bro? You okay? You know, I'm allowed to talk. To, I'm allowed to talk to other people. Can you stop being an attention whore? Stop being an attention whore. But yeah, it's all a legend. <laughs> I hope it's not true. Jokes aside, I hope it's not true. I'd like to see black people win. Um, if a nigga slack me, <laughs> naked nightcrawler picks, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, like, like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I guess because I'm a troll. <laughs> that shit would make me laugh to some degree. I'm gonna also report you, but <laughs> that shit, this freaky ass Miles Morales, <laughs> this nigga is different, bro. <laughs> oh shit but like as a jokes aside i like to see black people win so like i i hope it's not true i hope